Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an issue on your browser, whether it's Google Chrome, Firefox, Edge, or perhaps a various application on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer that reads that there is no healthy upstream. So generally speaking, this error message means that there's an issue with a server. So there's really not too much you can do on your side unless you're experiencing this across multiple websites, different services, and so forth. So in that case, there's really nothing you can do on your end. However, there could be issues with your DNS settings on your computer. So, you know, it's worth taking a look at, and that's what we're going to try in today's tutorial. So we're going to just start off by opening up the search menu and type in CMD. Best match, you'll come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And then into this elevated command line window, you want to type in IP config, followed by a space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back a Windows IP configuration successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WINSOCK, W I N S O C K, space reset. Once again, exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter. Should go back when successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. At this point, go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. And then at this point, hopefully your issue has been resolved. If you notice you're having this issue across multiple websites and you're still having this problem, we can try resetting our network settings back to default. Please note, if you're using a Wi-Fi based connection to connect to the internet, you will need to have your credentials nearby because once we're done with our next step and we subsequently restart our computer, you will need those to get back on the internet. So just please take note of that. And then we're gonna go ahead and proceed. Open up the Start menu, type in Network Reset. Best match, should come back with Network Reset. Go ahead and open that up. So this will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select Yes. And then at this point, close out of here and any open programs and applications you may have on your system and then restart your device. And then hopefully at this point your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.